welcome back to Dreams of Music and Makeup. I'm wiping concealer on my black pants. Joy. <laughs> Of music and makeup it's me Jacqueline if you are new around here hi there I have this habit of starting videos without a lip color on and today is no different I'm rushing and I'm gonna get this video done because I'm on my way out the door I'm gonna do some clips for you guys on my phone of some updates as I am going to be out and about this afternoon but I'm trying out three brand new L'Oreal products today I did purchase them all myself on Ulta.com picked out a couple of different colors for myself. I picked out the 24 hour fresh wear foundation, which I have worn one other time, but I wanted to wear it for you guys on camera and show you check-ins, that sort of thing, to see if it is worth your time. I will warn you that item is fragranced, so it was probably not gonna get a whole lot of action in my collection, just because I don't need the extra irritation, but I wanted to show you guys how it wears and that sort of thing, if that is not a deal breaker for you. Moving into the Infallible Full Wear Concealer. That is the second product we are trying out today. I'm wearing it under my eyes. I will show you guys the application as well as my initial thoughts, all that sort of thing. We are also trying out their new L'Oreal Mascara. It is weird, kind of like the Lancome one. It's called their Unlimited Mascara. It's the Unlimited Length and Lift. It has this bendable wand, which I kind of forgot to utilize. But if you are excited to see demos and kind of a wear test of how all this does for me today, you are in the right place click that like button. I would super appreciate your support. That does help me out as well as leave a comment down below if something strikes you. I would love to hear from you. Primed my skin with the Milk Mini Blur Stick in the center of my face as well as anywhere where I have major pores including around the crevices of my nose, center of my nose, highlight points, that sort of thing. Then I went in with my Hangover RX Too Faced Primer. This one is hydrating. I put that on my cheeks and outer portion of my face. I am still a very dry individual and so this helps kind of balance me out. Then I went in with my Infallible Fresh Wear 24 Hour L'Oreal Foundation. I picked up the shade 420. I wore this one other time with exclusively a blending sponge. I wasn't the biggest fan, so I wanted to try it out one side with a sponge and one side with a brush. So for this demonstration, I am using the Love is the Foundation brush from IT Cosmetics. Just a little bit more information for you guys now that I have tried this out for a few days in a row. This foundation is incredibly high highly fragranced, and for me, that causes a comedogenic reaction. I get acne all over my face. Unfortunately, since filming this video, I discovered that the concealer shares that unfortunate quality, and for that reason, I'm not gonna be able to use it as much as I would like to. Again, I really don't understand why brands insist on putting so much fragrance so high up on the ingredients list. I will show you the ingredients list so you know what I'm talking about here. Vanilla on the left, ivory on the right. Vanilla is slightly more yellow, whereas ivory is slightly more neutral. I did use both of them in this video, the neutral shade closer to my inner corner and the more warm shade towards the outer corner of my lower eye. set my two under eyes with two different powders. On your right hand side I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me in the shade Fair Light. On the other side, on your left, I'm using this e.l.f. HD under eye setting powder that has been my tried and true for many years. A tinted and an untinted and see which side looks better. Let me know in the poll or in the comment section down below which side you think does a better job. Here I have already applied one eye of mascara and I thought it was the best clip where you can actually see what it offers so I kept it in. I apologize that this clip is slightly out of focus, it was focusing on my hair and I didn't realize that until after in editing, but I just wanted you guys to see that on the second eye it doesn't apply quite so much excess product. It did apply a lot on the first eye but I do think that problem is going to lessen as this mascara gets older. You can use a clean spoolie like I'm doing here just to brush out the clumps. All right. 
right. Found some better lighting to kind of show you guys how the concealer and foundation is. No movement on the mascara, though I do think it's a little clumpy for my taste. I just reapplied this lip color. This is also the new L'Oreal Matte Ink, I believe it's called. I will double check the name and have that on the screen for you. Sorry, I'm a bad YouTuber. I forgot I'm supposed to vlog in this format. Anyway, just wanted to check in, show you guys kind of the concealer and foundation up close. I am outside, but I am in indirect light right now, so you can see a little bit easier. I just reapplied my lip color as I did have some greasy fries on the way here. You gotta do what you gotta do so you can have that glass of wine when you get your trim, you know? I'm gonna go up and see Megan and then I will check in with you guys later on. Hey there dreamers, it's me Jacqueline. In the middle of a video, I sure would hope so. Just checking in, it is about 6.30 now. It has been approximately five hours since I initially applied this, maybe a little bit longer. I went and got a hair trim today out in Megan's neck of the woods. So I lost some of my natural light, so I didn't do any later check-ins for you out in the wild after that as a result. But I thought I would show you guys some up close real quick what my skin is looking like. I'm liking how it looks so far, with the exception of the center of my face, which I could have set a little heavier. I did not overall set my face very heavily, just because this foundation claims to be a long-wearing one on its own, so I didn't want to overly set it. I kind of swirled my Milani Prep Set and Glow Powder all over my face when I was done with colored products, but otherwise I didn't really set. Basically, I wanted to give this foundation a chance at showing its 24-hour claims without being set very much. I will say... As far as it stands right now, for being five, six hours of wear in, and for not being too warm at any point, I am getting some breaking up around my nose, despite the fact that I primed there. I did prime like I normally do these days, a little dry. Stop yawning! Every time I yawn, my eyes water, and then I look even more tired. It's awful. I did reapply the L'Oreal lip color a couple of times throughout today, and I did end up putting a gloss on top on my drive home just because my lips were really dry and I just needed something hydrating on my lips. But you can see that the color is not really breaking up or gone or anything. The color just kind of faded gracefully in the middle. It doesn't feel like a liquid lipstick. It almost feels like a watery stain that you're putting on though you can still feel just the lightest texture that there is something there. Let me know your thoughts down below. Have you tried this foundation or this concealer? I would love to hear your thoughts. Or the lip product. The lip product is very different as well. I'm not much of a liquid lip fan, but they claimed that this formula is different. I fell for it, and it actually is kind of different. So if you're looking for something that's a liquid lip style, but not really a liquid lip, Maybe look into this new L'Oreal one. You can see that there's some breaking up happening on my nose. I also have a little dry skin flake right there, sorry. It just is what it is. I am breaking up here in the crevice of my nose. That's usually where your face produces the most oil. It's definitely where mine does. I will probably in the future set this area just a little bit more heavily because it just didn't get very much powder right there. I think is why it looks so drastic. This is not settling into my smile lines very much, and usually by five hours it will if it's going to, so that's nice. And it's also not settling in my little lines on my forehead, so that makes me very, very happy. It also makes me happy that it's playing well with the other facial products. Nothing seems to have faded or drastically changed, though I could use a little more highlight if I do say so myself. Cheers. thoughts on these three products. Foundation I think is great though if you are starting to do anything remotely sensitive with your skincare and that sort of thing with your face or you're being mindful of ingredients, bypass this one altogether. There's a lot of fragrance in there. It's just unnecessary. It's an agitator to the skin and that's why it's not ever going to be in one of my top five just because I know I can't wear a fragrance regularly without it screwing up my skin. I'm going to test this one more time but then I need to space out when I wear it for my own sensitivity levels. For the concealer, I actually really really enjoy this formula. I would compare this to the Tarte Shape Tape. The component is nearly identical. The valve is stronger on the L'Oreal one so you're not going to have as much caking gunking up at the top 
I would say that between these three, because I recently also reviewed this NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop concealer, between the three, I would say this one dries the fastest, the Tarte is probably the most difficult to blend, and the L'Oreal is probably the most coverage and the most comfortable. Based on my application today, this was a lot easier to blend out, I needed very little, it was not as chalky, difficult to blend as the Tarte Shape Tape can be. It also didn't dry as quickly as this NYX one. I think it had a little bit more coverage. It wasn't quite as thin, watery. If you're looking for a full coverage concealer, I would definitely say this one is worth a look. The Tarte one will run you about $27 now, I want to say. You don't have to spend that much money to get that kind of coverage anymore. That's wonderful. I'm really glad the drugstore is diversifying. As far as the mascara, so far I think we have a winner. While I'm frustrated that my first eye went on so heavily that it was spidery, my second eye gave me some more hope. The amount of product that I normally go for quite quickly, and I'm normally someone who takes quite a long time on my mascara, so I appreciate that. I do see a resemblance between this brush and formula and Lancome mascaras, which to be honest, is the reason I've always been drawn to L'Oreal mascaras, because I know that Lancome is ultimately their parent company, and that a lot of those formulas are probably very similar. But I also find L'Oreal to be the blackest mascaras at the drugstore, in case you were wondering. This formula I'm really impressed with. I do love some Lancome mascaras. I am not willing to pay $30 every three months to replace one and have one in my collection, but I do think they're wonderful and there was a time when that was the only mascara that I had and I did pay that money for it. There has been very, very minimal flaking. I don't know if you can see, there's literally just the tiniest, like three or four little flakes on my face that I can easily just brush away. That was usually my experience with L'Oreal mascaras. This is why they were the majority of what I wore in high school and college. Since then, the formulas don't quite wear the same on me, so I'm excited to have a contender that is not all over my under eyes five hours in, <laughs> so I can get back into the L'Oreal mascara market. That's an exciting thing! I hope this video helped you in one way or another, whether it helped you purchase something or avoid a purchase that would not have helped you, let me know down below. I'd love to hear from you. Do you prefer the brush side or the sponge side? Do you think that one powder under my eyes looks better than the other? Let me know in that comment section down below. I would love to hear from you. I'm gonna go ahead and hand this over to a better looking Jacqueline who has fresh makeup on to close out this video for us. Thank you so much for watching. That pretty much wraps up everything I can tell you in this video and one day of wear. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, be sure to give it a like before you go. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. I would hate for you to miss anything. You can click that bell to be notified of all the latest on my channel. I hope you're having a wonderful day or evening wherever you are, and I hope you keep dreaming. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.